Yo, what's going on, guys? Shabu Russ back again from Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Guys, due to the fact that a lot of people were telling me to get one, I did make an Instagram. Guys, be sure to go follow it down in the description below. It will be in the description of every single video from now on under the social medias tab. So be sure to go look at that. Um, and also, if you have not followed my Twitter, be sure to go follow that as well. So in this gameplay, guys... I ran something I don't usually run. I ran the Lob City offense. Um, you guys have heard me talk about it before. Basically, just the chuck up offense, most of your scores. Most of your plays seem to be throwing it up. And on the first two plays, I end up throwing it up, which is actually way more than I usually do. I don't chuck it up that often unless I'm in desperation mode. But this game, for some reason, I was doing it on first and second down. You guys will see a couple of times I end up chucking it up. And usually, I just don't look deep. So I may miss passes that I have people wide open deep just because I play the short game. And uh, this game, it seems like I was finding everybody deep. So second and 12, we do find Jimmy Graham for a one-yard gain. Third and 11, though, I really make a bad read right here. I roll out. I throw it right at Deion Sanders. Luckily, he didn't get a pick animation. I did have my receiver open, but it was on the run. And fourth and 11, what do we do? We see Ed McCaffrey somehow get behind the defense. Lob City offense engaged. Ed McCaffrey into the end zone for a touchdown. Early in the first quarter, we do take a 7 to nothing lead. And that was big, man, because that was fourth and fucking 11, like, Really? I mean, the dude, I think he took his safety down or um, he just got beat. I don't know what that was, but uh, Ed McCaffrey just somehow beats everybody. Obviously, Ed McCaffrey, not a dude known in mutt to just beat people with 90 speed, but that was pretty awesome. Again, a route that sometimes I would usually miss. Well, on 4th and 11, usually I'm probably looking deep, but still, lobs to the offense, fully engaged on that play. So 3rd and 7, this dude, we got this guy stuck, and then right there, <sighs> Nice playmaker. Playmaker's his receiver over in the middle. I was there with Wagner, but I wasn't there quick enough, and he does end up getting to the 13-yard line right there. He does lose one on second and 11. Right here, he does make a smart read and dump it off to Marshawn Lynch. He's able to cut up field and get about 8 or 9 right there, and then he ends up hurrying up. Actually, I should have called the timeout, but I didn't, and he ends up getting into the end zone with Marshawn Lynch. Walking in 7-7 seven to seven is a score almost towards the end of the first quarter. So now we're back on offense. We need to make some plays right there. Ed McCaffrey does end up dropping that one. Second and 10, we do run with Marshawn, and we get about nine yards. Um, almost get a first right there, but Jimmy Graham does end up picking it up with ease on the very next play to get us a fresh set of downs. So first and 10, Russell Wilson looking, kind of rolling to the left, and we do chuck it up. Lob City offense engaged again, and Randy fucking Moss, that dude is an absolute glitch. You guys already know it. I did make my video yesterday titled Randy Moss is a glitch. That dude's insane. I haven't had a receiver like that ever in Madden 17. I mean, the closest I've had is Ed McCaffrey, and, you know, he's not Randy Moss. And that was just ridiculous. Randy Moss is an absolute savage. Third and goal, we do jump over the top of Jimmy Graham. But I do end up taking my points. I actually came out um, ready to go for it on um, fourth and goal. But I was like, no, I'm going to take my points. You know, that's smart. And it was actually like a yard and a half out, so it wasn't like inches or anything. I wasn't like insanely close. So I think the smart thing was to take our points. And we do, so we do go up 10-7 to 7 in the second quarter. Now he's trying to run the ball a little bit. Second and 11, though, is broken up by Richard Sherman. Nice play on the outside. I actually double-covered that receiver with Cyprian and Richard Sherman, so a good play right there. And then third and 11, can't do anything about that. Crazy catch with his receiver. I've just come to expect that stuff now. First and 10, Marshawn Lynch does run it for a couple yards. Second and 7, he does run it with Marshawn once again. And then third and three, he does end up passing. And he does find, it looks like Jimmy Graham for a first down. Actually, no, that's not Jimmy Graham. I don't know who that is. Greg Olson, maybe. Um, and then Marshawn Lynch on the very next play, boom, does get big hit and does fumble right away. As soon as he got the ball, just kind of completely destroyed. First and 10, though, back on offense. That's a huge break for us. Fumbles are pretty, you know, they're pretty fluky, especially Marshawn Lynch. But you know what? He did run it like three times or four times in like five plays. So, I mean... Who knows, the stamina could have been low right there. Deion Sanders, I'm lucky that wasn't picked off. I didn't think he'd be able to make a play on that. He wasn't in position until the last second. Jimmy Graham does end up making the catch either way, though. Second and nine, we roll on that. We end up chucking it up to Jimmy Graham, and bad decision is, oh, I guess it's not picked off. Jesus Christ. 40 seconds left, though. We do decide to run it, and Theo Riddick, my third down back, the last person you would think to get me a 13-yard run, does get me one and gets me uh, to the 25 yard line a fresh set it down so with 24 seconds left we do chuck it up to randy moss one-on-one -on -one coverage i'm gonna take that all day doesn't end up coming down with it but second and ten we do run it with russell wilson to make it a more manageable third down if anything third and five though we do chuck it up and it is well almost intercepted luckily it was not and we do end up taking our field goal to make it 13 to 7 with nine seconds left in the first half he does end up running and it does end up getting stuffed and we do go to halftime with the score 13-7. to 7, But he does get the ball back at half. 
and this dude is pretty solid. So I feel like he can make a comeback or make a comeback. And second and ten, what does he do? He's rolling or not really rolling, but just looking at Tom Brady. He does get big hit by Jadavion Clowney. Don't know how he held on to that, but he did. And uh, third and twenty three comes up. He does hit a drag for a nice game, but fourth and seven. He does decide to go for it, looking for the end route. And he finds it. Nope. <laughs> Corey Graham. I almost said Jimmy Graham. Corey Graham does end up batting that one down. And it does end up forcing the rage quit. Guys, again, be sure to go follow my Instagram down in the description below. Again, that will be linked at the end of every single one of my videos. Or not the end. It will be in the description of every single one of my videos. So be sure to go follow that. Again, if you're not following my Twitter, be sure to go follow that as well. That is also down there. And I did hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, Dangerous Army, I'm out.